Hey guys, J Chip Show here, and you're watching Linda, aka the Gamer Girl. Why, hello, and welcome. In this video, you're thinking to yourself, I'm going to be cooped up for a couple days in my house. I need some new reading material. This is where the video comes into play. So basically, I am here to help you go through, get some starting points on some excellent graphic novels or comics that are based on video games that you may have not known about or you knew about but just forgot. So let's crack into them so that that way you know where to go. My spider sense is tingling. Starting at number one is Mortal Kombat, the one by Midway. Now there is a couple comics that were produced around the same time in the 90s, but this one is the one that Midway had officially done. The reason why I like this one better is because of the fact that the covers are a lot better in my opinion. The story is mostly close as best as possible to the animated series and the games and you can tell that there was a bunch of the staff members working on this so you knew it was accurate as possible when you were seeing it, you enjoyed it, it brought me back to actually watching the animated series so I definitely recommend this one. Next on the list is a graphic novel that has a game that's been considered the best of the decade. That is The Last of Us, American Dreams. I need something smuggled out of the city. It's just cargo, Joel. The graphic novel is only about four parts, so when you are going to read this one, it's going to be short, sweet, to the point. There's not going to be many issues for this one. Pretty much it's Ellie, and she is when she is younger, and it is a time period between when she is walking through and trying to get away from the fireflies. So there's not much to it other than it is an amazing writing, amazing people that worked on it. Even the people that were on the staff for the game actually worked on these graphic novels. So you can see that there's still the vision of the game in these and it's worth a read. I definitely recommend it. So the next one on the list is Silent Hill Dying Inside. Now this one is not for the kiddos. I would not recommend this one. This one is very graphic. It's very eerie. Uh, will definitely give some kids bad dreams, but it is a good storytelling. It is really close to the Silent Hill franchise, and I, I've read other ones that are somewhat close to it and not as good as this one. Basically, it's the same thing as any other Silent Hill game. You got some creepy characters and a protagonist trying to make it through to the end. So you just gotta read it. I will not spoil anything because Man, there's so many twists to this. It was, and the art was amazing. It was spot on for to give you that edgy feel, but not too creepy to where you don't feel like reading it anymore. Now for this one, it's a little bit different than the other ones that I've talked about so far. It is Sonic the Comic. This one was based only in the UK. I found this a while back and I was reading it and I was like, wow, this is really good. But the one thing that's different about it is it's four comic strips in one. So you're going to get four stories in one comic. So that's why I recommended this one because when you get one comic, you're not paying for just one comic. You're technically paying for four little stories. Now the other thing that I like about it is it's not just Sonic. It's many, many Sega characters in this franchise. So if you see that you got in the comic, you might see Kid Chameleon, you might see Wonder Boy. You might see a bunch of other comics that are based from the Sonic comics. So take your time, read through it. It's definitely worth a read. We're moving along and the next one is The Legend of Zelda. The one of the original ones from back in the day from the 80s. Yeah, another beautiful day in the magical kingdom of Hyrule. Boring place. I used to roam the world, fighting monsters and sleeping in mud. A hero's life. Now look at me living in a castle, sleeping in a bed. Aren't I sweet? Yes! Don't go any further. Start with the originals. So this one is made in the 80s and you can tell by the art style and the graphic designs of everything. It's really, really funny. It's kind of like the animated series. So if you watch the animated series and you enjoy that, 
you're definitely gonna like these comics. The humor is spot on, it's the same style, and the characters actually look like the ones from the animated series. Now, I will say that there is plenty to choose from, so if you can't find issue one, you can read any issue and you'll kind of know where you are in the story, so. And this will definitely not be a waste of your time. Well, we have come to an end and we are gonna end with a great one. For those who don't know, Street Fighter 2 had an animated movie. Those for who don't know any further, they also made a comic based off the animated movie. So I had those comics, and I still have a few of them, that were Street Fighter 2 the animated movie. It is one of the best original comics based off of something that was based off of something. So it was like an infinite void that kept going. That it, So you'll, you'll watch the movie. So first I say watch the movie. That way you'll get a gist of this comic because it's kind of like going more in depth on what happened in the movie. So when they had a cutscene and there was like, you're like, I don't know what happened. They show you what happened in the middle and pretty much it, it goes just along with the movie. So there's some scenes that are like, oh, this is from the movie. I've seen it exactly like that. And the comics didn't stray anywhere from going like, I'm just going to be obnoxious and just not be anywhere near the movie. So you're going to want to see this. You're going to want to watch. And I know for a fact that you're gonna find the PDF for sure. That's the one good thing about this community. We know that there's some people that have scanned the PDFs into file just to keep as a record. So you can definitely find any of these comics that are what I have talked about. And many of the movies are also on Blu-ray now. So definitely take a look. And that is basically what I recommend. So if you're not sure where to start, just type in the names, go through the Google searches, and you will find at least some reference to what the cover art looks like, a base price of what you're going to want, because a lot of us, we like to actually have it in I know that it's only six comics, and I might not have covered every single comic. So what are some other recommendations you would say if somebody's just starting off with video games, and they want to get into comics also, because they nerd it, then you can put it in the comments below to help out our other friends who are looking into this. So thank you for everybody who have watched the video. If you are new, please subscribe and as always keep on gaming everybody. I'll definitely catch you next video. Stay safe out there. Bye. Linda the gamer girl. She's here, she's playing games. Linda the gamer girl. She's here, she's playing games too.